What's up, family? I hope all of you had a good Valentine's Day yesterday. Hopefully, the men didn't spend too much money. But anyways, jumping right into the video. Starting off, we want to address the mass shootings that we had yesterday. In fact, we actually had two mass shootings in which uh, there were lives lost. Starting off, check this out right here where there was a shooting at the Super Bowl parade. Uh, we are talking about the Kansas City Chiefs. You know they won the Super Bowl over the weekend and yes, that particular parade was yesterday and unfortunately there was some idiots that decided to bring out their guns and start shooting at people. Uh, but anyways, yes, uh, there were about 20 people that were wounded uh, in this particular shooting, but the sad part about it is that uh, one person is now dead. Uh, yes, we are talking about this particular deadly shooting at the Kansas City Chiefs uh, Super Bowl parade in Kansas. And you can see right here that uh, bystanders ended up having to tackle one of the suspected gunmen after the shooter uh, ended up trying to leave and run through the area. Uh, luckily, those particular bystanders were able to catch him and hold him down until the police uh, were available to arrest him, as well as there were two other individuals that were arrested as well. So uh, the good thing about it is that all three people that were involved in this particular shooting, uh, they have been captured. They are in jail right now on hopefully some very high bonds. Uh, but on the sad part about it is that there was one person that ended up losing her life. And that particular person is a beloved disc jockey. Uh, and she was a mother of two children. Uh, yes, she was 44 years old and she has been confirmed uh, that she did end up losing her life. And unfortunately, we definitely want to take the time right now uh, to pray for her, her family, and her friends uh, during this very challenging time because as most people uh, ended up going to this particular event just to celebrate uh, with the Kansas City Chiefs and uh, this beautiful woman right here ended up losing her life. So uh, we definitely want to keep her in our prayers in the meantime, especially uh, her husband, guys. So I think that is her husband right there. Uh, but anyways, I just wanted to at least share that with you. But that was not the only uh, a gun shooting that ended up happening yesterday. We also had another shooting at a high school in Southwest Atlanta, Georgia, in which four students ended up being shot at Benjamin Mays High School in the parking lot. Uh, but anyways, don't have much detail of uh, this particular article. I won't necessarily read it to you, but just let you know, guys, that guns are a terrible thing right now, especially when you are using them for the wrong reasons, especially what are guns doing in a high High school parking lot. This is insane. This is crazy. And obviously, uh, children specifically, uh, they don't know how to act. And they act with their emotions. And just because you don't like somebody, that does not give you the right to take someone's life. So uh, anyways, again, we want to keep those particular four students, as well as their friends and families, as well as the entire school. Keep them in your prayers as well with the individual that lost her life at the Kansas City Chiefs Parade. So anyways, I would encourage you to join me in that effort. But uh, moving on, guys, we do need to go ahead and talk about this deadly virus or disease, whatever you want to call it, that is happening right now. It is a, a huge infection that is pretty much spreading. Now, previously, a couple of months ago, we've talked about where there was a potential virus that could be on its way to the United States. Now, they didn't necessarily have a name for it or didn't necessarily know exactly what it could do, but uh, I feel that we actually know a little bit more now about this. Uh, as you can see, it says that this is the deadly fungal infection and it is called Candida auris. And yes, it is spreading in the United States very rapidly right now. And doctors are cautioning that uh, the infection can be potentially hazardous due to its high fatality rate, uh, drug resistance, and its ability to easily spread in healthcare facilities. But anyways, the first case of this particular infection was actually on January the 10th. Uh, and yes, the Public Health Agency for Seattle and King County said on Tuesday that it had found three further instances of Canada Iris infection uh, the week after that. Uh, the pathogen typically infects individuals with weakened immune systems and is resistant resistant to several popular antifungal drugs on the market. Uh, patients in hospitals who use feeding tubes, breathing tubes, or catheters are frequently found to have this 
Canada Aris uh, infection. So uh, this is definitely important. And uh, right here we have what they are considering some maps, visuals showing you of how and where the deadly fungal diseases are spreading fast across the United States. If we scroll up here, we can look at this particular map in which we can see that uh, those individual areas are orange and uh, Texas, Florida, Nevada, uh, California, Illinois, and New York. Uh, they are saying that those are some of the highest areas uh, for this particular infection. Uh, but anyways, like I said, uh, this particular map is showing deadly fungal diseases are spreading across the country have been revealed and these new images depicting a growing epidemic of four serious strains which are infecting thousands of people uh, how compared to how, what we saw back in 2020 uh, during the pandemic. So uh, anyways, this is definitely alarming and like I said, this is spreading at an alarming rate and people are losing their lives. And the problem is we don't necessarily have a fix right now or know anything in regards to protecting ourselves. So we just pretty much have to continue to live our lives as normal or maybe we want to start wearing a mask again. Are you guys ready uh, to go back to what we saw during the pandemic where we are on complete lockdown, shutdowns, wearing masks, afraid to go anywhere, having to do everything online? What do you think about that, guys? That is scary to think that we could actually go back to those particular times. Now, I will say that because of our economic and political uh, status in the country right now, we probably won't go as far as another government shutdown or a continue a U.S. shutdown. But uh, it does beg the question, if uh, something like this was to happen, what will the government push down upon us once again? A lot of people didn't necessarily like the shutdowns in the past and they ended up losing their jobs. So I would only assume that they would definitely be in vote against something like that happening again. But I would love to get your thoughts on this. What do you think about the opportunity, uh, whether or not we will shut down again because of this deadly uh, virus that is spreading uh, right now? And a lot of you haven't even heard of this as of yet. So I definitely want to bring it to your attention because it was definitely some news to me and doing a little bit more research, finding out uh, that this thing is pretty serious. This is nothing to play with. Uh, guys, if you look at it here, right here, this is another uh, article that we found in which this is a alert talking about the daily fungus virus spreading across the United States found in Michigan, uh, Illinois, Ohio, Indiana. Uh, and yes, the drug resistant fungal disease has proven to be deadly. That was the first sentence of this article. And it says, so how have I never heard of it? I told you guys, a lot of people still have not heard about this, but uh, the experts at the CDC have referred us to the global health threat uh, that is happening right now. And not only is it sweeping across the U.S., but it's made its way up to our neck of the woods in Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio, and some other states as well, with nearby Illinois seemingly at the forefront of this particular battle. So uh, anyways, like I said, uh, this is not necessarily common, but it is uh, spreading rather quickly. I at least want to give you guys the updated information to let you know how you can prepare uh, to protect yourselves against this. And of course, right now, like I said, uh, you can protect yourself by wearing a mask, maybe uh, not going to large crowds or things of that uh, sort. Maybe not necessarily traveling to this particular state uh, that have been diagnosed as having a high increased amount of individuals having this uh, Canada Aris fungus disease uh, infection. Uh, so anyways, yeah, uh, let me know what you think about this, guys. Maybe you live in one of these states already, so you might have more experience with this, perhaps, or you know someone. Comment down below and let me know. Uh, I definitely would like to know about that. It is definitely uh, had me a little bit concerned at this particular time, so I will definitely be keeping my eyes posted and peeled in regards to this uh, fungal infection. So uh, anyways, letting you guys know that outside of all of that, I hope all this information information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, that's all we have for you today, but feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a couple of opportunities for you to earn some free money or some free cash. Also, don't forget about signing up for the Amazon Prime membership where you can get 30 days for free. It is a very awesome membership and I definitely encourage you to at least try it out for free 
you'll thank me later. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, please go ahead, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.